I don't know about Jay because he has a uh, he has no no freaking uh light no light, light source. source? No. Jay's being abducted. Can, uh, let, let me let me let me turn it on. Hold on. Oh, the, oh, <laughs> oh, you have one. Oh, you have one. You have one. Results? What? I have another one. But Why would you have it? Up? Hold on. Hold on. It is, it is. You know how many you, episodes bro. we've done where your mic is, or your lighting bro, is just boy, terrible. It's a deep It's terrible. Plus the fact that he's not helping himself with the light on top of him. The light doesn't go behind you. It goes in front of you. In front of you, Jay. Bro, did you go to film school? What is going on right now? <laughs> Jay just went to take What a is dump. he doing? Jay, Why do you look so angry right Jay. now? <laughs> Turn <laughs> off the lights. That's Turn off the lights. Put it back. You make it worse. <laughs> That's <off>. a bop. <laughs> you look so pissed. <laughs> just, Jay, Turn, Turn off, man. You look worse. Turn off. <laughs> Turn off? Jay, <laughs> is, you're putting the light I know, front, behind you. I know you went to film school. <laughs> I know you went to film school He's somewhat. How do you not know lighting is supposed to go in front of you, not behind you? You want to see what's in front of me? Oh, no. A wall. Oh, no. A freaking platano. There's a wall. <laughs> I can't that's have nothing in front of me. That's why we need to get you, you a freaking... You get a ring light. You just put it on, light, on top of your desktop, and then it Ooh. shoots backwards. Oh, God. I got you, bro. Don't worry. We can see your... Send me your address. Send me your address. Your pretty little face. Give me your address. Do it. No. I can't. <laughs> Give it to I, I can't. I can't. You can't you know, what? If I put too much light on here, it's going to look too good. You know? I don't want to oh, well. outshine anybody. Oh, well. I mean, all that is not going to go through your potato camera. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> it's it's going to be no, null and void. You're welcome to give Michael Mike Reloaded. Loaded. Loaded. Small fun talk! I feel like we could have a very educated conversation without oh, that'd be, like, that'd be good. being like... Without ganging up on yes. me? Yeah. Okay, which is your favorite Destiny? My... Oh. Um... Probably the one. <laughs> you want to talk about the Destiny? One. What the f do you want to talk about? Yeah. Destiny, then tell me. So, let me tell you. My favorite one is when. Uh, Jamie, tell me! I you have to chop his head off, his <laughs> arms off, his fingers off, everything, his mm -hmm. penis, everything. Just chop, <laughs> chop it all off. His power, anything that swings, that can yep. swing, is powerful, including his dick. Get, get, get so rid of it. Chop it all off. <laughs> Just get, get it. Get off. rid of it. Get out of here. Just fling it somewhere else. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> And with that, welcome to Give Mike a Mike, the podcast. Uh, we are here with Harold, Alex, Jay, and Omar. How are you guys doing today? Hello, hello. We all right. Fantastic. So the big question all right, all right, on, on, right. The, on the minds of everyone here goes to Harold. Harold, how did Valentine's Day go? <laughs> mm. It went really, really well. Mm. I got engaged. Engaged. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> the applause is everything. Thank you. I Thank love you. It. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, she said yes. Of course. I mean, look at All me. Right. Was it was it weird? Was it awkward? <laughs> the eye look on you. The eye look on you. said, look at me. You said, look at me. Hey, come on, look at me. Who was saying this? Surprise, Surprise motherfucker. <laughs> No, Harold, are you pregnant? That's my question. Oh, huh? God. Are you pregnant? I'm not pregnant. Are no, you okay, pregnant? No. I'm not pregnant. Oh, no, no, no. Are you personally are pregnant? Are you sure? <laughs> Am I pregnant? No. Nope. Are you with child? I would love to know. Are, we, are you with child? <laughs> are you with child? No. What kind of science um, bullshit is this? <clears throat> it, was, it, was, it was pretty crazy because the, the box, so the guys have seen the, the box that I, that I gave her with the ring inside. That box actually was being shipped that day. So she picked up the ship, that, that shipment. And I was like, I hope she doesn't open that. So while we were like, you know, having dinner and everything, it was such a beautiful mood. She had created this really, really nice mood. So I was like, well, this is, this is it. So I had asked her, I was like, um, where are the packages that came in today from oh. Amazon? She's like, oh, they're right over there. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, I got to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> and so I had to like run dash go through the packages find the one that i needed open it up then get that the box for the ring put the ring in there and then you know go and do the thing and do the thing whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. what'd you guys eat 
She had ordered a uh, Cheesecake Factory for our dinner. Wait, so you guys, it was in you, everything was inside, like your house. Yeah, it was it was in our place because oh. I had worked late that night, that day, or that night actually, and so when I got back, it was already eight eight thirty. Like I just asked because yeah. the picture you sent us looked pretty fancy, like it looked nice. It was like no, but red. that was the mood that she had created oh, okay. in in my kitchen in the, in our kitchen. And she had like, you know, wine the whole night and she had the dinner set already. And so it was just very, very like awesome. Romantico. Yeah, 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 super romantico. Romantico. And then I was like, man, I can't waste the mood. I might as well just, just throw give me that D. <laughs> just that dive D. right in. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Did you feel exactly. good about it, man? Did you? Did yeah, you feel... I mean, I, I was, I was super, you know, super happy. Did very you make a emotional. speech? You know, I was so nervous and like very. Also, it was a lot of emotions going on, so I didn't have anything super like you know. But I, I you know, like we, I did say some things. It's just, did you? I both was cry? like, uh, I yeah, I think we both did a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do? So, look at me, yeah, man. Look was, at me. Of course, and I as soon as as soon as that happened, then we so sent the pictures to my family. I sent it to the boys, so the boys knew as well. You know, the whole night. Nice, bro. Well, congratulations yeah. once again, I'm very Harold, happy. on Thank the so on the wonderful much. engagement. We love it. <laughs> love to no. hear it. Welcome it to was, hell. It was. <laughs> <welcome> to hell. <laughs> 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 Nice. <laughs> Welcome to the meat grinder. <laughs> Welcome to the fifth level of hell. Sucker. Sucker. Yeah, it was sucker. You fell for oh it, sucker. God. You got played, bro. Sucker. <laughs> you got zap. You got zap. Yeah. For sure. Um, so it's okay. It's all right. We got, we got the married bunch here coming up. So Alex, mm-hmm. of course, in there. Jay's in there. Harold's about to be in there. Omar's about to it's it's been in there. It's been in there. <laughs> I was just saying, it's about to be in there. Like, okay, freaking. We have the last Ronin. The last, the last Ronin, Ronin right now. The last one holding out hope, bro. <laughs> Fighting the good oh, fight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> by <laughs> string. By <laughs> string. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, there's probably going to be somebody I meet in Hollywood or in freaking Atlanta. Ooh. On set somewhere, AC and I'll be like, "Hey, what's up, girl? What up? AC Blaze, I'll see you, AC Blaze there." <laughs> She's ready for I'm that. Like, you know, AC Blaze, bro. God, that any, snuggle that teeny weeny bean walrus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna snuggle up to <laughs> yeah, AC Blaze. <laughs> ODV, oh. So we are here to talk about a wonderful movie. <laughs> I say it about like every movie, but this is a wonderful movie that Omar loves, Jay adores. Alex has some opinions about it's Harold perfect. hate it and I am undecided. But here we go. We're gonna go into it and talk about Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. This is the phase five kickoff film. This is the film that starts this new Marvel phase. It ended with Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and it starts now with Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Guys, I have a question for you. Did you guys do anything to prepare? I know, Alex, I had spoke to you and you had watched, uh, I think you were watching the original Ant-Man and then Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, in preparation for this film. Uh, That was different from me. I actually only watched the last episode of Loki, uh, the season finale, and that, that was my prep work because I came into it more interested in a different character than Scott Lang. Uh, so what did you guys do to prepare? Did you guys do the same thing as Alex did with the two Ant-Man movies? Or did you do any more than that? I did that. I, 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 did, I watched the the first two the first two Ant-Man movies. And now that you've mentioned it, I wish I had um, pretty much rewatched Loki at least. Or, or at least the last episode, like you said. Yeah. Um, which I'm probably going to do anyway. Um, but yeah, I, that's what I did. I, I watched the first two movies. So I think you guys are probably talking about the last cutscene in or the what is it called the cutscene at the very yeah, end of the movie? The, the last the, the final yeah. boss. I only saw the first one. <laughs> I'm assuming there's two. There's two. Uh, yeah. There are two end scenes, but no, we're not talking about the end scenes yet. We're talking about just but, preparation. Yeah, preparation but what I mean is movie. is because you're talking about Loki, I'm assuming Loki it has something show. to do that way. I, I only exactly. saw the first one and then we left. So 
I uh, missed that up. I missed well, that. Well, we no. The reason I bring that up is because Easy. Jonathan Majors, who plays uh, Kang the Conqueror and Ant Man and while in the Quantum Mania, yeah, uh, was revealed as like the main baddie of Loki season one. Oh, so he connected. That's why I was very excited for the yeah, movie because yeah. I saw him in Loki. So that's mm-hmm. why I prepped in that way. But I didn't, now that you mention it, there's also a second end cutscene that definitely yeah. connects. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yep. I uh, I didn't prep at all. I just went straight in. You know, Is that because you didn't know or you didn't have time? Uh, no, I didn't really think about it, to be honest with you. And I, I felt, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't feel like this movie had a lot of weight to it. It mm, felt like... get into that, bro. Yeah, it just didn't feel like a lot of weight. That. So I didn't I didn't have like that that want to like prepare myself to to make sure i'm watching this i don't know i just went in let me just go see what this is about and that's no loop but i did i got you yeah got you. No loop. uh omar did you watch anything prepare for anything uh we all just saw the first two ms you know it's not pre- to prepare it was more like just to get back in that you know yeah that M-M vibe. The swing. The M-M vibe, yeah. Uh, you know just get in the mood to watch it. it's more some scott lang some more ants. um and yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to watch uh, that, that basically like the last scene of Loki again, um, but I didn't due to time, and which is funny, you know, a man of time. But I'm glad I didn't because we're gonna get into that. Yeah, we'll get into that. Um, Alex, I know I mentioned you watched the first two Ant Man movies, but did you also say that you watched uh, End Game or Infinity oh, wow. War or something? So I I did I did watch Endgame only because not the whole thing though I just skipped because I was totally forgot like how Ant Man even came back into the world because they don't explain that at the end of Ant Man the Wasp oh, the like van. He just, yeah he's stuck in in the quantum you know universe so I'm like how the hell did he get yeah. back like I totally forgot so I just like fast forwarded mm-hmm. just to see that and then I did watch the last episode of Loki though so to get up to speed on that as well to get that loki loki in there okay so uh Local. mm and the wasp quantum mania is the full title we're just gonna mention it as quantum mania while we do this podcast because that's just a, a mouthful so quantum mania is like i said the first phase or the first movie of phase five that's gonna basically kick off the rest of the movies which i'll have to look up in just a minute what those other movies are uh, but it stars, of course, Paul Rudd as the adorable, uh, hilarious Ant Man. Uh, you got uh, Evangeline Lilly, I believe Lily. her name is, right? Yep. And yeah, uh, as it. as Hope, and uh, I just I keep forgetting her name because I, I think they, there's an yeah. artist, like a musical artist with the same name almost. Uh, okay. But I'll never forget it because of Lost. Like that's Lost. where I first yeah. saw this lady. And thank you. And Omar was actually the reason I saw Lost. So thank you to Omar for bringing me into that world a long time ago. Um, so anyways, this has to do with um, basically the, the, the end of Endgame. Like, hey, I'm Ant-Man. I'm living my life. Things are a little bit different. People know who I am. I'm an Avenger. Uh, we're going to go through life just and like see what happens. Just like <laughs> Spider-Man. Yep. Just like kind of like, yeah, just like in, uh, what was it? No Way Home. Is it No Way Home? Yeah, No Way Home. I want to no make sure home. I got it right. Not far no from home. You got it right. right. Yeah, no Way Home. There you go. <laughs> uh, so you got, you know, Ant-Man going through the whole thing and kind of living his life. He wrote a book, which the book plays a lot into this movie. Uh, a lot of the the punchlines and stuff like that. He's reading books to people. And um, basically he has his daughter, uh, Cassie, who is played by the third different actress to play uh, Cassie here, <laughs> which I have I have issues with. But anyways... Uh, we have Cassie that's there, and she is saying, hey, Dad, like, it's cool you're an Avenger now, but what are you doing to help out the world? Like, what are you doing to move on and uh, do something better for society? Because I'm an activist, and I help homeless people, whatever. Anyways, Cassie is working on, in secret, was working on a satellite to communicate with the quantum realm, basically to study it, to map it out, to see... Uh, what they can learn from it. Um, it was herself and also Hank Pym, who was played by Michael Douglas again. Uh, they basically, in secret, are communicating with the quantum realm. And while they do that, Michelle Pfeiffer, who is playing uh, is it Janet? 
or Janet? Yeah, you got it. Is it Janet? Okay. Janet. So Janet, Janet Pym. Yep. So she's came, she came back from the quantum realm, obviously in part two. And she's like, I don't know what you guys are doing, but don't do that because uh, you don't know what's in the quantum realm or quantum mate. Yeah. Quantum realm. <laughs> so let's uh, stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, WrestleMania, whatever. <laughs> quantum mania. And then, <laughs> and they, you know, of course the machine malfunctions because that's what a movie does. You have to have that malfunction machine and it sucks everybody into the quantum realm. Things get weird. Uh, we're introduced to different characters, including Kang the Conqueror and a band of other unlikely heroes that we have here. A lot of aliens. We have Bill Murray in there. We got a lot of stuff that's happening <laughs> into the quantum realm. Uh, and basically they're just trying to A, escape and also B, make sure that Kang the Conqueror does not escape. So those are the two objectives of this movie, and we just kind of go along for the ride uh, to see how that works out. There's a lot of stuff to get into, a lot of stuff to dig into. That's just a quick synopsis on that. Um, I do want to get everybody's opinion on what you thought about the movie. Uh, Did you like it as much as you did? I was one of those people who tried to avoid trailers as much as I can, Um, but unfortunately, when I go to the movies as often as I do, it just it just happens. Like I always see the trailer, no matter mm-hmm. what. So uh, I went into it expecting not too much. I knew it wasn't going to be like the old Ant Man films where you got uh, Luis, of course, who's one of my favorite characters in all of the Marvel things, my and man. yeah, and I am so sad that he was not in this movie, which I'm sure Omar will have a whole rant about this. Uh, but yeah, I knew it was going to be a different vibe as far as like comedy is concerned, and uh, just based on the trailers, it looked kind of like I was going into a Star Wars movie instead. So I want to get uh, everybody's reaction here. I'm going to start with probably Harold uh, and then go on to Jay after that because I know Alex and Omar both have opinions about this movie. And I am curious to see gloves come off because that's what they've been talking shit on uh, the WhatsApp. So I'm I'm assuming they're going to fight. We're going to have a Kumite battle right here. <laughs> uh, so, Harold, make sure you have the vinyl ready to play. Let's put the soundtrack. Let's put the soundtrack on, and then that way we can have that happen while we no get to talking about it. Kumite, uh, yeah. Kumite, Kumite, Kumite. Kumite. So, Harold, what did you think about the movie? Obviously, you went in with not a lot of expectations because you didn't. You, didn't, you felt it had yeah. no weight to it. I don't know. I just felt like I think I, I was really uh, excited to see the, the villain, um, Jonathan Majors. He's, I, I like him. He's really good. Um, and I think, I think uh, in this movie, it just didn't seem like he was very, like there was no, um, it was not threatening, threatening. Like uh, nobody was in danger. Nobody was dying in the movie. Um, even though I think Jonathan Major's character, what's his name? I forgot what his name is in the movie. Oh, King. Kang, Kang. Yeah. Um, he's like super strong, but there's no sense of of um, threat. Like there's no threat to anybody. You know what I mean? So it, the movie was just like, it was it was okay. I didn't, you know, I wasn't like, wow, this is an amazing movie. But I just wanted to, like, honestly, I watched the movie because I just wanted to, to, to continue in the Marvel, the Marvel, you know, the universe. path and to know where things are going. That's the only reason really why I watched it. I wasn't like super excited or anything like that to watch it, but I was like, Hey, it's out. Let's go watch it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it was funny. I, I enjoyed some of the stuff like, uh, I, I laughed, but it wasn't like, wow, you know, it was nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what'd you, what'd you think about the movie? Man? Well, I had high expectations for it. Did you? I had high expectations for it. Based on what? I, number one, I, I loved the first one. Okay. I liked the second one, but I, I just like Ant-Man as a character. Sure. Like, I like the story. I like his character. Um, but I, was, I did have high hopes for this third one. And I'm not going to lie, man. I was left a little bit disappointed with it. Um. I thought that the story itself was a little bit kind of dry. Um, I found it a little tough to follow in um, in terms of like uh, 
like kind of like what Harold uh, Harold was saying. It's like uh, this guy's supposed to be all like very very powerful, and I didn't feel like there was a big threat, like he was saying, and like with his suit, like is his suit supposed to be what gives him powers, or is he just powerful? Both. You know, is it both? But but you're missing the the point of Kang in this movie itself. Did you so, stay for yeah, the, I mean, Did you stay for the second end credit? Yeah, so I mean, like that—that's the other thing. It's like, uh, is so he's in like all these so you, multiverses. So you or saw something? you saw Loki, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me explain this to you. Let me give you a little a little. It's not a multiverse it. thing. Right? It is a multiverse. Is a multiverse thing. Thing. It's, def- oh, okay. it's oh, the definition of sure. multiverse. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to follow. So I will tell you because I watched the last episode of of Loki. Mm-hmm. because I had to rewatch it because the first time I watched it, I'll admit like I, I wasn't following it intently. Like I wasn't like paying attention to that. Like yeah. episode yeah, of it. Too. I was just like, Oh, I don't mm-hmm. know what's happening. Yeah. But now when I rewatched it mm-hmm. with a new set of eyes and knowing where Marvel's going with this whole uh, phase five and mm-hmm. beyond, you get it, you get a different sense of what's happening. So in Loki, you have you're introduced to uh the I think he who remains was his name. He didn't go by Kang the Conqueror. He didn't go by anything of that nature. He was just like I am he that remains. And all these timelines here, I'm kind of like in charge. I know what's happening, what's gonna happen. Like right now, this conversation we're having, I know exactly how it's gonna end until this point where I let you choose whether or not. You decide to kill me, and the timelines are now, I don't know, something screwed up with it. So uh, Lady Loki, what's her name? Uh, Sylvie. Sylvie ends up killing he who remains. And now before he dies, he says, listen, before you kill me, just know that there are other versions of me that are out there that are worse than I am that are going to be coming from every timeline and going to be destroying every timeline. God, I wish I watched that episode before. I went you to should have watched the episode. Yeah, really I wish I watched it. Because like, I didn't remember. I don't remember any of this. So he he dies. Then Loki is sent back into his present time. Present time. He ends up in a library and sees uh, Owen Wilson's character and the other lady. They have no idea who he is because he's in a different timeline altogether. He looks up, and there's a statue of uh, Jonathan Majors, Kane the Conqueror, he who mm-hmm. remains, whatever his character is. You see a big statue there, which means that he's in a timeline where this guy reigns supreme. Fast forward to Ant-Man, uh, Quantumania here. You have him as a character, Kane the Conqueror. Uh, spoiler alert, he dies at the end. <laughs> he gets murdered. Mm. Before, well, he, he that's gets sucked into the Jumanji board. He gets sucked into the Jumanji board. That's that's after the after the fact that he pulls a, a, a Creed three on Scott Lang uh, completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was when like I could, whoa! When I could see he the, box, the yeah, crap yeah, out of his face. Like, oh, what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. Yeah. That beatdown was yeah. crazy. Okay, that was that was I was like, man, Scott Lang got no chance, bro. Sorry. Mm-hmm. So uh, he gets basically they say that he dies uh, again in this movie. He tells Scott Lang, he's like, listen, uh, I'm trying to escape. I'm trying to get out of here, but you should let me escape. Because if you don't let me escape, there's going to be other versions of me that are going to come. The ones that actually banished me, they're going to come. There's going to be more of me. There's going to be other people that are escaping from here. Then you fast forward to the end scene that Harold uh, did not see. And you see all the different versions of Kang, of the Conqueror, mm-hmm. or whoever you want to say, whoever he is. Freaking, I'm J- not Jamaican Khan. Yeah, there's uh, Egypt, Egypt Khan, Egyptian. Yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah. Khan, they're all there, dude. Yeah, you got everybody there. I didn't so see that part. it's one of those things where <laughs> uh, I'm not into the comic lore as much as probably Alex is, and you know know about it a little bit more. But they can explain it, Alex and Omar, um, as far as Kang the character is. But I know this has to set up a bigger. Uh, story on that they don't want to give you everything on that because he is supposed to be an all-powerful character probably more powerful than than thanos if we're if we're being honest well, and, and on that's that. what i was and that's the thing that i was 
uh, I think Harold's trying to touch on too is like I don't feel like he was as threatening as a Thanos. Well, that is because this is only one version that you're looking at Kang right, the Conqueror right. of. When there are mm-hmm. a billion different versions of him that are probably, and there are going to be ones that are way worse. So you're going to run into one. One is going to show up, especially the Kang Dynasty where we're ending up to. That's going to be the I final. I guess that was the, yeah, that was the confusing part to me because I'm like, wow. I mean, yeah, it took them a minute to defeat this guy, but at the same time, I'm like, this guy ain't no, uh, th- uh, he's, I thought he was supposed to be more powerful than Thanos or something like that. So how is it that Scott Lang, just beats this guy with the wasp by themselves. I'm like, okay, this sucks. Again, that's you know, why I have yeah, to yeah. think like, yeah, yeah, this is not the version it. that that is going to be the ultimate villain of where the Avengers are going to be coming yeah. back together, where they're going to have another mm-hmm. Avengers. The Kang Dynasty, that's what we're leading up to. This version was just like a, 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 a little snippet of what we're going to get with Jonathan Which Majors. I think was a huge mistake, by the way, but we'll get to that. I, I don't know about that. But. I was a, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. But I read a few different reviews Mm -hmm. and um, a lot of people were saying the same thing. Like it was just a little weird to follow, Um, you know, saying the same stuff. I was, I mean, you cleared it up pretty good. You know, I, now I really wish I had watched uh, that last episode or maybe even retouched on, on the whole Loki series. And what I would do is uh, uh, when they, when that releases onto Disney plus uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp or quantum mania, when that releases, Mm -hmm. go ahead and watch that last episode of Loki first. And mm-hmm, then get mm-hmm. get into that movie, and then you'll kind of get a little bit more, like sense of what's what yeah, you're feeling. I'll do on that, that yeah. myself. Yeah, same for you. But I mean, oh, man. Alex, uh, you have been muted for a while. Go you have been go shaking your head and and all that. Oh yeah, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. We're getting ready for the fight. We're getting ready for the fight right now. <laughs> sorry, this is better sorry Ooh. Um, so Alex has been waiting patiently here to uh, put his his two cents into this movie uh, he's <laughs> Jeez. I don't know that but uh, Alex has been waiting patiently ah, cool. and I know that he could do a whole deep dive on this and i would like i don't know how to moderate this conversation because i actually would like to hear from both alex and omar at the same time i i I feel like i should moderate it at least give it like a time gonna be jerry springer style bro you're gonna be jerry springer no 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 no. (laughs) i'm not gonna be crazy you are the father (laughs) i i promise i'll keep it to a minimum yeah all right alex so i'll i'll ask you the same question would you what do you think about the movie what uh, what are your thoughts about it? And I know that it's it's you could go into obviously spoilers, and you can also say that you read reviews here and there because I know you went into reading a lot of articles uh, after the fact on that. Uh, Omar, of course, read some reviews and stuff like that, and also articles after the fact too. So I want to get kind of uh, your take, Alex, uh, and then I want to get your counter, Omar, and then we'll all reconvene together right after that. So I'm going to start by saying that this movie, I had, I had my, like, I was excited. And then I also had my thought process go down because I heard there was like a two hour mandate. So that was like another thing. And then going into it later, you know, I ended up watching the movie and I, and I heard, you know, obviously the negative reviews, it's got like a 40 something percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which is like. 848 which is as low as eternals for all you guys in here just so you guys know um, well no it, it's higher right than eternals it, it's it's, I, one, I, point it's one point oh. higher so just eternals got barely. 47 oh um <laughs> so and why does it feel so much review. better <laughs> i read that review dude <laughs> i just i just wanted to point that out the guy specifically I said what I'm gonna one say point higher than the abomination of, of eternals i mean <laughs> So for me, here's a th- here's the thing. So I went into this movie, and Michael already touched on certain things, so I don't want to reiterate too much. But the Kang threat element, um, I could definitely see why people may have gone in and been a little bit upset about it. But that didn't bother me just because, like I said, I saw Loki. 
I understand the bigger picture. And just so you guys know, Kang Dynasty does not come out until May of 2025. So we literally have almost two years before that movie comes out, um, which is why I'm feeling they held off a little bit. Um, the argument could be obviously maybe they should have done a little bit more, but I, I felt he was menacing enough you know, for the amount of people that were fighting against him. It wasn't just like, you know, one person. It wasn't just Ant-Man by himself, you know. It's like Ant-Man, the Wasp, his daughter, this whole tribe of people and misfits, whatever. Like it, And freaking ants. It had this and vibe. A shit ton of ants. It had this vibe, like, if I'm being honest with you, like, there, the amount of people on screen, if you saw it, it was about as many as, like, an Endgame when they're literally all running out and fighting the threat. So um, I don't know how else he could have been more menacing without him. Obviously, I think people want an Ant-Man to die, I guess. I don't know, but I I didn't go into it thinking that that was going to happen. I went in thinking there was obviously going to be a threat, which I I felt. Um, I think, honestly, this movie, the reviews it's getting are not warranted. I don't think it's that as bad as what Rotten Tomatoes is saying. I'm going to come out and say that, first of all. Yeah, um, it was more fleshed out for me personally than, like, Thor, Love, and Thunder. Like, I actually enjoyed the comedy mix with the the menacing, darker tones. It wasn't as dark, you know, like as like the, um, the god in, in Thor, but there was that nice mixture and blend of the comedy that I know and ant-man in terms of it being lightweight and an enjoy enjoyable movie which is what i expected out of it and i guess that's why like when i watched the first two like i love the movies i think i have a good time watching it i think it's fun um and that's kind of how i went into this movie with it now the one thing i'm gonna gripe about as far as things that i think could have been done better and this is from me reading an article and knowing more about it um but the CG, like the, the special effects, was definitely lacking in this movie. Um, the story itself, I felt, was really good. But there was elements of the CG that they clearly cut corners on. I'm not going to take that away from anyone. I know, I know it's going to be probably Omar's biggest thing in terms of like why he didn't like the movie. Um, especially coming from something like Avatar, we just watch like this crazy. Well, that's what that's what I was thinking effects. about. I was watching. Yeah, I was like gonna say, as far as Avatar is concerned, you have all that money that was put into just your CG because that movie is so super CG. Um, this one uh, was obviously a lot more CG than than uh, most of the previous Ant Man's because it was put in a different, completely different environment. Um, but I think when you compare it, it definitely like there's but no. no. Like, there's no comparing it to Avatar. Like, Avatar had years to be able to build, and I get that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's where my gripe is coming in, in that, like, Marvel is just, like, you want to know what's going to save Marvel if this is what everyone wants to talk about. It's it's really going to be that they need to start, like, cutting down the amount of content that they're putting out. Um, It's one of the things that that detrimented um, Star Wars. You know, like, they kept pushing out movie after movie, show after show, and then look what happened. And this is the same thing that's happening with Marvel. Like, they had, you know, when when the Infinity Saga started, we were getting one one movie, two movies a year, maybe. Now we're getting, like, three to four movies a year, plus all the Disney Plus content that's, you know, intertwining with it. And it's just too much to where, you know, the special effects people, the one thing I read in the article was that, they literally had to take people away from Wakanda uh, from this movie to work on Wakanda forever because oh, wow. they wanted to specifically make Wakanda such a bigger film that there were special effects artists that were saying they had impossible deadlines for Ant-Man. They were asked to cut corners and, and as you know, aspects of the CGI, which is what I saw. And that's my biggest thing. Like I really hated that, this movie cut from there, you know, because I felt like if you're going to go into the quantum element, it's always n- never been an amazing looking environment in, in the past films. Like if you go back and watch two, when they're in quantum, you know, it, it doesn't look that great either. It looks okay, but 
if you're going to spend the whole time in the movie, you got to spend the time developing that area and making it look good. And I don't blame the actors for that. I don't blame the special effects artists. I don't blame the director. It, it comes down to Disney. Like, they're trying to push out this stuff too fast. You know, this is this movie's coming out literally, what? Um, we got uh, Wakanda was in November or December? November, right? November. This movie's coming out in February. It's three months later. Three months from now, we have. I mean, I. Guardians. I will say I don't. I don't Already mind was the. Last December. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't mind the movie release schedule for it. I think what is hurting them, like you said, is just the other content that's coming out, including the Disney Plus TV shows. Like, there's so many of them that you, especially at, like I didn't mind the Loki. I didn't mind. Um, uh, WandaVision, like I was like, okay, these are cool because they a lot of them connect to. But those had time. These movies, they had time to make those, and then you turn to after it, then you have the She Hulk, you have all the other stuff that came out, like boom, 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 back to back, and they didn't have time to breathe. Like that's what I'm saying is I think they need to spread it. A lot of that was not needed. I don't think like She Hulk was needed. It didn't really further Phase Four at the time. Uh, Moon Knight, as much as it was a great show. It could have benefited from maybe waiting a little bit as well on that too because it didn't, again, doesn't connect to the Marvel. There's a lot of stuff that just doesn't connect to four. the actual MCO stuff and uh, MCU stuff and including Phase 4. MCO, yeah. Sorry, Orlando Airport. Uh, <laughs> the MCU stuff that just doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't like contribute to it. And I think yeah. you get burnout on that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, mm -hmm. it's one of those things too where it, I think it, it could have been opposite where if DC had done this, let's just say, for example, had put out this much content with like TV shows and other movies and whatever the case might be, maybe you could have had that original Justice League movie be good because you establish characters. Like let's say you gave, well, besides Flash having his actual own show, uh, if you gave like Cyborg his own like HBO Max show or, you know, some other type of character that's in there, their own show it would help develop those type of characters. Now is we have all these characters that are developed in the MCU that we don't need side shows for as much as a, some of them, like I said, WandaVision connected to obviously Dr. Strange. Um, and probably, I think there was another movie I connected to. And then uh, same thing with Loki. Loki is now connecting to quantum mania. So I like when they're able to connect those miss Marvel is going to connect to the Marvels when that comes out uh, later this year as well. So there's a lot of stuff that does connect, but then there's so much that it's just like that. That actually got pushed back, like all the way to which the one? end of the year. The Marvels, Mar uh, Marvels. Uh, Bob Iger, I mean, that you know good. about Bob, he's back, yeah. and and he's. They already said they're gonna push back everything, everything. They're gonna split all the shows, all the movies. I did. They don't want to. I did hear that. Yeah. They yeah. don't want to suffocate the fans anymore. They're gonna cancel some projects they had they had going that they never obviously you know got into the first gear. So, I mean, there's hope going towards you know phase five and phase six phase four they know it was a little messy they know it, it definitely was messy when Under you, when Bob we, Chapek, especially we when we look at our looking at our ratings like our our video that we had with the mcu phase four ratings i was like there was so much content yeah. there was just so much there that we had too a rank much. it was too much harold didn't watch fucking half the shit so he didn't have, yeah yeah he didn't know what was happening and i think there was other stuff that, like I said, the movies themselves, I'm like, if you focus on the movies, but also not as many movies as they did, because I remember, like, at, as soon as Thor Love and Thunder hit, like, that was already, like, burnout. I felt, like, burnt out right. from, like, MCU stuff at the time that that came out. Mm -hmm. And then everything on top of that, I was just like, oh, God. You know, and Wakanda Forever, I'm like, I, I love the movie, but it was also at the end of this phase. And by that time, you're just like, oh, Jesus, like, I need a break from the just the mcu stuff altogether tv shows movies whatever the case might be so i think alex does have a point on that when he says you know talking about the uh the disney part of it um omar what did you think uh was the problem with this movie you've heard alex's points you've heard uh some points from jay and harold as far as like we liked it we didn't like it uh jay of course with his appreciation post we love it but omar what did you what did you uh like didn't like and what what is your your buzz around this 
Uh, well, I'm surprised um, by a lot of your, um, even Alex's, I feel like, he, I thought he was going to be a lot stronger with his opinion. I mean, I thought, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, what from what he said, um, I don't disagree with a lot of it. I, I could get more into details why I feel the way I feel before giving the final score. Um, before we go there, though, like I wanted to tell Jay and Harrow, I don't know if you guys know, because I see Jay, like he was, he's not very like familiar with the um, Kane character. Um, you know, his real name is Nathaniel uh, uh, Reeds, right? Hello, can you hear me? Jay, you're muted. Uh, you might, I think you're muted. <laughs> okay, whatever. Jay, um, you're yeah, muted. Yeah, I don't know that. Okay, but. no, well, his, <laughs> his, his, real, his real name is Nathaniel Richards, which I don't know if that sounds familiar to you guys. Uh, Reed Richards? Character. Yes. Um, that's the father of Reed Richards from of the Reed Fantastic Richards. Four. That's who King is. Mm. He's a human mm. being. A human being. That's all he is. And he's just a <laughs> normal being? guy. A brilliant scientist that discovered, obviously, time travel and multiverses. And now we have this guy who became King, his alter ego, basically. But that's So is there going to be people... a backstory to this guy then? Um, I have or a feeling is, we're going we to learn a lot. To... No, we're going to learn a lot more like the guys were saying as we go on. And I King? feel Fantastic Four. For he's going to be like the last. He's talking about King. Yeah, yeah there's, that's yeah. going to be the King dynasty. They're, they're doing a whole movie about the, the different... Yeah. Like multiverse versions and and the storyline of him. That's what I'm saying. That comes. You're gonna out love that, Jay. And, and that's the reason why um, uh, you saw the you saw the con- um the to mo- after credits thing. right with the console, Jay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. why there were all a bunch of different looking uh, Kang because he's he's literally time traveled through air, all different multiverses. So he's become and they all know about each other basically because they, they yeah they seem like they were all. He, I mean, he discovered oh, yeah, they were best friends. Yeah, he dis- yeah they, they were, were like all brothers. BFFs. <laughs> yeah, they were all like brothers. brothers. <laughs> 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 he was, he was, he was. Um, so anyway, that's gonna come up later on, and that's not here there. Um, the movie itself, um, yeah, I mean, Mike, Mike already touched upon it that I really missed a lot. The uh, you know the Ant Man stuff, the the street stuff, the Lewis stuff, the Lewis uh, uh, Ti. Yeah. People, I agree with that. What yeah. people like from the Ant Man's all the high the stuff, humor, yeah, yeah. You know, not being in Star Wars asshole for the two hours of the movie. <laughs> Like I mean, it was the anal me, of Star Wars. It, like that's sure. what it looked like an anus. It looked like an anus. It looked like you were inside <laughs> inside of an anus. anus, and and you and there was just flora everywhere. The yeah. anal oh, flora, freaking colon okay. flora, okay. Okay. Of just flopping around, robots yeah. and Bill Murray I mean, yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you can tell when you see the movie, and don't get me wrong, it looks great. It looked beautiful, like like Alex was saying, and that's I mean, you got to give them um, their props, but. Unfortunately, when you watch the whole movies like that, it really feels like you're watching just the actors in the volume. And you know what that the, means? The like volume. What they do, that. like in the Mandalorian, when it's just all like fake background. Yeah. You can tell because it's that's what it is, really. Like Avatar. Um, there's just nothing tangible. It's just all like in the background happening, and they're just kind of reacting to it, acting to it. But again, it is what it is. You can't, you cannot mm-hmm. just film that in the middle of the scene. <laughs> he moved right? too like, much. Him, I, I mean, I guess. You can't wait. What? Oh, okay. You, you know, you froze for a minute. Oh, that did I freeze? Good. I'm sorry. I, I, I never right in the middle of that. Yeah. Everyone in that background, they're doing that. Yeah, hey. uh, oh, oh, well, oh, sorry. What, what I was saying was that I, I get it. You have to film like that, maybe in the volume, because. You can't just film a quantum realm in a city, or you know, trying to duplicate that somewhere else in our in our real Earth, which it, it wouldn't look like realistic, I guess, to what they're trying to convey the quantum realm is. Whatever. Um, so I get that, but it is what it is. That's just the you know the nature of the movie, the, the plot. Um, the movie itself, like I, I mean, I, I don't know. It's there's a lot of issues I have with this movie, uh, and, and and it's all gonna boil down to King. And I, dude, I love Majors, dude. You know, I was so hyped for this guy, and I real and I'm still am. Don't get me wrong, I still am. But I'm gonna get a little nerdy here with the comics, guys. But in the comics, even even if you Do Google it. it, if you Google it, look Google uh, King, you're gonna get a picture of that guy. Mm-hmm. He's known as the Conqueror. That's him. That's the guy everybody knows. He's like the main guy, and then you have all these jabroni kings around him, you know, right? But people fear this guy. So what they did just now, they're obviously they're changing the the story. They're doing something different. We'll see. But I mean, people are saying that he's not dead. That's that's well, a rumor. Let me right? let me ask you let me ask you a question about that because at the end, 
when they showed the the Loki tie-in, there's a version of Kang there, and the thing is, it's it's led to believe in open ended. Like he could still be out there, he could still be alive, it could still be the same Ant Man that I think over time, or Kang. That's what I'm saying. I thought about that, but then the other kings, which remember they all know each other, all connected to each other. They said, "No, he's dead." Like they, they confirmed it on the console. That that's that was the, that end credit. So they will know he's dead. How will they know? Because they know they feel each other. They know they saw it. Remember, they all connected. That's who they are. You know, the who, the one who remains, whatever. So they know what's going on. So that's why I'm like, okay, are you trying to fake us out or what? Whatever. Either they might build a new king. But to be fair, I like this king. I like him. That character he was playing, uh, uh, the Conqueror, he was amazing. I would have loved to see more of him. You know what I'm saying? And but, but didn't we didn't we believe the Yellow Jacket was dead and he came back as Modok because uh, he was thrown uh, into the Darren? <laughs> and, you, and you're right. I'm you're just right. saying. In Marvel yeah. Land, dude, they can do they can literally they do, do whatever anything, they want. Exactly. They can do like what, but then it, it just be a little weird. I would love them to explain how why they thought he was dead or not. But you know, and whatever. It's Marvel. You're right. You're right. You you maybe. But um, dude, when I saw the movie, I'm like, oh, he's not dead. He just went into that Jumanji board. He'll be back. <laughs> but then, then, then the end credit said, "Oh, oh, this guy is dead." I'm like, "Wait, what? He's dead? They actually know he's dead? They confirmed that?" So I thought it was a little weird. But well, you're I don't right. think he and confirmed it because uh, Scott Lang was like, "I mean, no, he's no, no, not no, coming not back." Scott, not Scott Lang. He, well, that was his own. Oh, he's talking about the other guy. I'm talking about the console yeah, guys. The con, talking yeah. about, oh, yo, he's gone, and we have to do. We're all gonna get together but now and freaking when you say, and have a party, you know. When you say he was sucked into a Ouija board, I mean... <laughs> no, like Jumanji, not a Ouija board. No, no, I know. Jumanji board. Jumanji, Jumanji, Jumanji board. Yeah, 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 That's not a deal. That's not a deal. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. But excuse me. it wasn't the... I mean, he didn't get sucked into um, like anything that sent him to another universe. That was actually no, like it a was power just, Yeah, thing. it was just a, the, that yeah. power orb thing that he... Yeah, used. so I mean, he's dead. The, the MacGuffin, not necessarily. Thing that pretty, but it well, not necessarily because Scott yeah. was in there trying to shrink it. Remember? Well, yeah, but this. No, no, no. He wasn't inside it. Not, he was just one. small. Try, he he, he got smaller. small enough to oh, to actually to, like to, make to it to, uh, for the court, to get to the core. Yes, but, but exactly. Like, but he was not inside scientist. Like then maybe he comes out with a way to come out of there. That's the point. Well, I mean, listen, we'll see. Right now. But you know what, Alex? Alex, you know what? Alex might be into something by accident. Because I'm, what I'm going to say next is pretty funny, guys. And this is something I had in my mind. It's a huge crap of mine. I'm like, this guy, they said he was like the worst, like, of Embodio, right? The worst king. We need to get rid of him. <laughs> That's why we're they banished him. the worst Lombardi. Exactly. We're going to banish him to the freaking quantum world. We, have, we want nothing to do there. with him. This guy is scary. Like, like a long time ago, he's been there. That's been established, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other kings, they know, they know his power. They know what he can do. They send him there with the chair that they know somehow maybe one day he'll power up again to get out. <laughs> Why would you do that? Hold on. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. This reminding me. No, I'm, not, this is, dude, I'm sorry. And this is going to offend some people in the room maybe, but... This remind me of Black Adam. There was a scene in Black Adam Ooh, oh, where he was inside that thing. tomb in that prison, and they said outside, "Do not let this guy out." But if you read the spell, you'll get out. That was good. You saw that movie, right, uh, right Mike? Yeah, you yeah. saw it, and they're like, "Oh, look, like, that's stupid. That's the dumbest thing." Yeah, yeah. Like, why would you put the key like five minutes outside later. of a prison? <laughs> like five minutes later, they're like, "Oh, we need you. Here we go. We're gonna read now, this spell." Now, mind you, the Kings didn't know that Janet will be there helping this guy out, but dude, you you still send him out with the tool that he'll need to get out. Yeah, I honestly feel that's like that's like if you put Thanos in the quantum realm and you give him an empty Infinity Gauntlet. It's like, all right, we're not going to give you the stones, but we're going to give you this gauntlet that'll hold the power. So again, I'm getting to, I know I'm getting into very like like details here and there, but that did bother me a lot. Do not put Black Adam in the same sentence as this movie. I do. Oh, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I said DC. I didn't say Sony. Okay, but go, uh, right, go. I wanted to Time ask out. Harold a has a question. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to ask a question to Omar because he seems to know more than uh, everything. Um, as far as uh, as Kang. That one that that through the movie is he considered the most powerful one out of all of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so so more than likely we'll see he like he'll be the main character from here on out. That's what I want. So he, I yeah, want to we'll, see how they're gonna bring him back, yeah. like Alex said. 
because right now the way they just left it like that, I was waiting for that after credit where you see like him coming back or you know that that a cliffhanger. Then he show anything. I'm like, what what's going on with this guy? But yeah, but I really hope yeah they they follow that in the comics. What if the one that's in Loki is him? We don't know. Like that's the whole like a that's the mystery of like Kang and that there's like multiple versions that we just don't know. Like I think that's what's cool about it. Like I honestly feel like if we let it play out, like we're gonna be here for two more years before we get Kang Dynasty. So we, yeah, we anything can wait. happen. So it's a, it's a long road. Yeah, it's different than Thanos. I, I get it. Coming from Thanos to this, it's like and yeah, like you guys were saying the the um, hold on before I get there. This is like I'm almost done. I promise, guys, but. The movie's title, I didn't like it at all. Ant-Man and the Wasp. You know, watch the trailers again, guys. The Wasp has zero lines in those trailers. She was barely in that movie. You know that, right? I'm like, why is she here? Like, the the Wasp? Hope? Like, like she did nothing in the movie. Now, I argue. This is my counter-argument. Arg I'm not saying, I mean, you don't have to do this. You can change the script, whatever. But this movie, dude, you're going to be called this movie Emma and the guy with seven holes. I mean, that would have fit more this movie. But right now, I mean, if you have to Listen, call the it. Listen, the guy with seven holes was hilarious. With bro. seven holes. Was yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, that guy was funny. I'll give you that. Okay. I'll give you that. There you go. That would have probably made more sense to me. But The Wasp, listen, I would have got, liked that title. This is my idea. I was, I was talking to Michelle about this. She goes, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, and uh, Alex said people wanted to kill Ant-Man. I personally didn't want that. But if you want to show a threat, Harold said it, Jay mm -hmm. said it. The first encounter, you kill Hope. Well, I'm not effing around here. You get rid of her. They're crying. They're, dev they're devastated. Shows you a this little bit serious. more of his power, maybe. You get rid of him. And guess, and guess who becomes the Wasp? The original Wasp. Jane. Janet. No. Yes, the whole movie was her, cabron. The whole movie. No, kill her. Kill I would have killed her. Michelle I, I agree. Pfeiffer, I agree. Michelle Pfeiffer I agree was in the with whole that. movie. She's been in the quantum verse, so she understands like how yeah, things work. Kill her. But she bro. knows how to do yeah. stuff. She pissed me off anyway. Kill her. She pisses man. you off. Why? Kill her. Just kill her. Kill her. Just kill her. <laughs> kill her, please. Okay. Let me, well, let me right. ask this you. This is the first time I hear one, so much hate with one thing, Michelle Pfeiffer, Omar. but okay. So. But, like, so look at the people in the room, right? Most of them did not rewatch Loki or maybe saw it one time <laughs> and, like, don't, and don't remember Loki. <laughs> so this yeah. is, for some people, this is the first time they're seeing Kang. Like, they don't, they've never watched Loki. They never they don't, Yeah, yeah, it. it's like the French introduction. So yeah, I'm yeah. wondering if that's where they were going with that. This is not the end. Like, they're just the first introduction. That's maybe what the director their vision was and, and their whole goal was we're not going to have this guy, you know, he's going to be menacing enough, but he's not going to kill people. Like we're going to save that for later but, when, but you know, it really I matters. Mean... But, but he's, if, if that main character or that main Kang is the most powerful one and there's other ones that are worse than him. See, but that's not really established that he's the most powerful that's one. They're point. saying that that's, he got that's banished. That's why I asked Omar that. That's why I asked Omar. Is, is They're he saying that this the main got, guy? That this they guy got banished it. from. That's how bad. That's how yeah. bad he is, bro. He can't even hang out with the parties anymore with the primos, bro. Like, mm. he, he was banished. <laughs> Blue bro. says that's the worst one. There could be one they have in a prison somewhere that they're well, not, no, that's not going to ban that's you in anywhere the else. Comics. That's I mean, that's just he was he was banned there because he was destroying. So he's uh, basically the like conquering, like, yeah, he, world. He's just yeah. conquering, everything. bro. Like, yeah. I want to conquer everybody. I want to rule everybody. That's it. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, basically the rock. Reason. At least you know, Thanos had a point. Thanos had a players. reference. At one point in the movie, you feel like, dude, this guy is no joke. Like, look at he's controlling. Never. He I, can, he I can, never saw he that. Can, in the jail, in the jail cell, when he's like holding them, oh, yeah. I was like, you know, I was like oh damn, you this guy's like, you know Cassie, what? He was yeah. messing around because yeah. that little telekinesis thing he, he was doing, he could do so much more, and he didn't do okay, it. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to say. That was if that's a little taste of it. I mean, he showed thing. us a taste, and you were like, "Let's see, let's see what it tastes like," <laughs> you know. And, and I was like, "Dude, it's the glow. I'm like, okay, so this guy is no joke. He's super powerful. And then later on. You know he gets beat like a freaking punk. He gets and beat I'm by like, ants. Okay, what? Well, listen, by ants. Yeah, I'm like, um, what the hell? That's you know the continuity for me on that aspect was kind of wishy washy. Yeah, those ants are very powerful though. 
They were very smart. It was a lot. They've been of there them. for years. Okay, There's a lot okay. of them. Bro, they literally. That's what I'm saying, dude. The time they were in the quantum verse, they expanded their minds and they learned so much in that short amount of time. Like they learned a lot. They learned a whole lot. What happened to Harrow? Is Harrow gone? What the? We, we're, we're, I was keep going. No, it's like you're joining back. Is fair? So, yeah. uh, no, that, that's another thing, Mike. And that that that, that actually, in a way, it, it, the the trailer mis- misled me because there were some scenes they took out from the trailer from the movie, and like there was one part I was waiting for when he when Ken goes to us uh, uh, Scott in the trailer, she might not want to. She might not want to look at this. Look at this, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, but it's something very scary. And I'm like, when is this coming? And it was never in the movie. It was and, never in there. And also yeah. in the whole, in the whole, I miss time with my daughter. I want time back. The way they marketed the movie, yeah, it's not like, I thought he was, was trying to make a deal. Time back to yeah. Scott Lang. Yeah, and that never. That <laughs> was never in the movie. It was a lot of misdirects on the trailer. It was misdirects. There was. It was. Yeah, there he was. did. He told him like he, that was the goal of the whole thing. He said, "If you help me." get this piece back then i can give you back time with your daughter but that just never came to pass because well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. ended up right. getting the the piece and then they they fought back against him i don't know yeah, i think um, people and... went in i think people went into this movie with very very fucking high expectations and like with every well, ant-man movie i've always i just like i think it's a fun the first ant-man movie i can tell you i remember watching it in theaters it was like in the middle of Oh, like so much fun. Some of the Avengers movies oh, that had come it. out, and it was just like a fun movie. Like it was just like a yeah. It was filler, right after like, it lightweight. came out right after uh, Age of Ultron. So you imagine yeah. watching Age of Ultron, like oh my god, this and is then trash. Go to and then Ant Man, it was that. like oh Jesus, yeah. I was like this is great. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of like a Guardians thing that they did. Yeah, and I don't know about you guys, but something that annoyed me about the movie too was Cassie. Like, did Cassie, you know, you guys at all in the movie? <laughs> yeah, so we, so like we, we haven't gotten to that, but I think Cassie, so Cassie's character, I think, I think it, it was fine. I honestly think it was fine. I know why it annoyed it, I think you, it was Jay. The way she was, it was written the way, the way her, her, her parts were written. No, I think. It, I think it annoyed you because she was very woke and an activist. So I think that's what annoyed you. <laughs> Well, I mean, now what I, now, well, I I wasn't even thinking that because this is because in all honesty, <laughs> don't, don't in all, Jay. In don't all indoctrinate honesty, me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna indoctrinate you. Listen, I honestly <laughs> thought, and one of the reasons I actually did enjoy this movie because it was one one of the least woke uh, movies I've seen. Didn't in, you see those movie. gay ants? Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw some freaking with the night homo holes, with the night yeah, holes in the know, background dude. somewhere. Yeah, look, no, but with in, in all seriousness, up. no, I just thought her character in general was a little annoying. I so uh, I, with, with the activism, I will st- say, type stuff, yes, I, mm. no, I will say with her, um, the the reason I went into it not really liking her is because first of all, you have the little girl in the first two movies, which movies. she was great, uh-huh. you know, she was awesome. Yeah. Then they switched over to uh, older Cassie. Uh, and five game years game. after the the jump, yeah, and then game when Ant Man finally comes back, and he sees this Cassie, and they have this like emotional moment. It's actually one of those moments in the movie that I remember like almost choking up because like oh my, you know, you see his face and he's like oh my god, Cassie, this yeah. is you, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I remember that Endgame game and feeling that moment, and I was like okay, cool. And then when they announced a new Ant Man and Wasp, I'm like all right, cool. Well, we'll get this Cassie. Uh, behind the scenes, they actually completely uh, recast the Cassie that was in Endgame. game. To be this new girl from, uh, she was in Freaky and uh, I forgot what other movie she was in, or show I forgot uh, her name. Um, she was in Detective Pikachu. That's right. That's what I was thinking. Oh Pikachu. God! Pikachu. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I didn't see that movie, but I know she was in it. But I remember she was in Freaky, and the same way the actress in Endgame found out that uh, she was recast was the same way we found out, which was on social media. So. She didn't get a call behind the scenes. She didn't get anything like advised that she was being recast or that she wasn't going to be in the new AMM movie. Uh, and they just recast for, and they, they, yeah, Chapik. Uh, they basically just gave her a notice on social media. And for me, that left like a, a sour taste in my mouth, you know, like as an actor or actress, like you don't want that to be what happens to how you. you. Go out. You know, that's how you go out. You know what I'm saying? So I think going in, I was like not a fan of the Cassie character. Uh, then I think 
I don't think I ever like warmed up to her as much mm -hmm. in the movie either. I was like, you know, you're yeah, you're the daughter. That's cool. But I didn't feel the chemistry there between her and uh, Paul Rudd. Like, you know, when they first introduce each other or they first like, you know, he gets her out of jail or something like that. And, you know, they're having these love moments as like a father and daughter. I didn't feel the chemistry like at all with them. Like, I, I didn't feel like they were a, a father daughter thing. It was just weird. It just didn't feel organic to me. At least the relationship with, uh, the relationship with the way between... she, was saying, she was saying grandpa and grandma. I was like, all I that and the family. Yeah, yeah I felt like she wasn't weird. part of the family. I don't know. I'm like, what? Weird. Where did I miss here? That's a little awkward. Know. Actually, that was a little weird. Why did they? Uh, why did they recast her? What was the the from what, what I there? from what I heard is that she was a more popular, obviously. That's uh, what I was gonna say. She's actress, she's more well known. So yeah, like a uh, up and coming type. Yeah, up and coming yeah. actress. Uh, Omar said and they want to capitalize on that but I'm like yep. you just don't I don't know you just don't do that I don't know it's kind of weird and she wasn't like that much she wasn't that much she didn't bring that much to the table either as far as like an up-and-coming actress to this role so I'm just like all right cool like she did what she needed to do she was there They're just older yeah. they they had to show time pass so I understand but yeah, I don't think she added. No, they away. they gave the the the, uh, the girl that was in Endgame was yeah, five that's years true. Older. She was older. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I was gonna say that she, she looked a little. She older. was older. No, yeah, she, she was. was she older. was. She was older for sure. She was in her twenties. And I felt like they had more chemistry on screen in that thirty seconds or one minute that they had a screen time together than these two had in this whole movie. It just didn't feel. I don't know. Like, it's I felt just... like they moved on from like Endgame. Like, oh, Dad. Like, okay, cool. Like we're just now hanging out, and I have my own suit, and now I'm gonna do all this. Yeah, that stuff. annoyed, me, like, to, that annoyed whole, me to. Yeah, uh, the, the chemistry. The chemistry it's was. Like, oh, weird. hey, I have a suit. It's like what? What the hell? Like where did that come from? I'm saying like you. You <laughs> haven't seen Cassie, and I feel like they should have probably maybe dug into that more as far as like in this movie, like from Endgame, like the point that you save or you see Cassie that she's older. Like, what happens between that time and now and this movie? Like, give us more emotion. Give us more, like, story to where I feel like I could connect better to Cassie as a character. I, did, I didn't feel that in here. I just didn't feel like I felt bad for her. You know? I just didn't... Because I don't know. It didn't land. That's what it happens a lot, too, when you do recast, man. That's, that's, it's hard, man. It's, I mean, I'm not saying she did a, bad, a good or bad job, but that doesn't help either. That's another layer, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think that recast didn't help. That doesn't help. But you know what? But speaking of that, too, you're saying with the little grandma thing and whatever. But you know what? Going back to the character, Janet, she's probably the worst character. Are, are you telling me you're going to come back from the quantum realm and you're not going to tell stories yeah. about what the hell happened down Dude, there to your husband yes. bro, she, and your yes, family? Dude, Stay away from that freaking hole. Like, are you serious? Yeah, she, she was She was having affairs and stuff. Mm. Bro. Yeah, that's why she don't yeah, want to say. She, 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 she got needs, she got needs, bro. She has holes. Right? I got needs, I got needs. And then his guy, and then this guy, <laughs> Michael Douglas. He's like, she wasn't you, baby. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was gross. Yeah, yeah, that was gross. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that was horrible. I'm like, who, I mean, I, I know in some movies they do that. It's so cliche, but don't, don't you don't hide something like that, bro. But I, I guess she did for the last four or five years. She's told nothing to the family of the quantum realm. Oh, that's another thing too, guys. At the end of the movie, they come back and no time passed in the quantum realm. Didn't they say like, when you're down there, time passes by. Dude, I was waiting for them to come back, and it's like all oh, like destruction. <laughs> the whole world's destroyed. Like like we're in the Khan Dynasty or something. Like yeah. no, we're back to Baskin Robbins days. Like I, you <laughs> notice that? Anyone notice that here? Yeah. Wait. That so ending? are they saying that the that time that, passes? I mean, the end. They didn't. They didn't. Remember, explain, Skyland. Yeah. They didn't for explain five hours. how much time passed. So I don't. I didn't really think about that because there's just. It wasn't discussed. They just kind of went because on it was, was it was jumped through. And he's right. Yeah. It, it didn't even talk about it. But I was waiting for that that moment when they come back when everything's like weird. Oh, they're in a, in a different multiverse or something. You know, you never know, right? But uh, Scott Lenz said that I was there for five hours, and we know it's five years, and we never know how long Janet was there. But I'm assuming it was in the right. whole what was it twenty thirty years she's been. It was a little shorter for her because I mean the way she aged, she looks. Pretty good, I guess. I mean, I didn't explain that, but whatever. <laughs> she, right? She looked she look pretty good. She looked pretty good. 
<laughs> she looks you know? like old as Michael Douglas when she came back on the second she one. She looks okay. I mean, I don't think I don't know. Again, again, I'm just uh, what, like honestly, I would rather see her as like Catwoman in the new Flash movie than uh, <laughs> oh, Janet. I like. They're gonna have to do some de aging though. <laughs> no, no, but for real, I, I I thought it was a little weird. I was waiting for some time to pass and explain that, but I guess they just went. Oh, let's just go to Basket Robin. Two hour oh, mandate. Ma- to our mandate, and, Omar. That's what happens. No, you're right. No, you're right. And by the way, and that was the new ending because the original ending with the screen testing, they were stuck in the quantum realm. That was the ending of the movie. So the whole ba- happy ending that was never in the original script. In the rich, not in the script, the original movie. They and I did, I did feel that because you I was about like, that? Oh, okay. no, I felt it like when watching okay. the movie. I'm like, oh, it feels like it should this end here. Like, weird. how are they going to get out now? Like, they got to figure something out. Nothing. Then all of a sudden it just reopens. Bloop, I'm like, just oh, okay. <laughs> And Cassie is the savior. I'm like, okay, whatever. That was never in the original script. Yeah, that yeah. was not there. So That's weird. They, That's they right. changed the end. You they wanted to make a happy end, I guess. I don't know. You know, All right, guys. We so haven't even talked about this bleak. freaking guy, bro. Uh, we haven't talked about... Uh, well, we oh, oh, I'm going to talk about my guy. Convert- Which guy? Uh, yeah. That was the next about, huge complaint. About Jonathan... Jonathan uh, what's his Majors? Name? Majors. Jonathan Majors. Majors. What are you complaining about? What are you talking about? about him. You're going to complain about him? get it. About Kang? Why? Kang? What? You gonna complain about him? We already no. did. We we already talked about this. <laughs> no, no, Are you no. Sleeping, I, I was gonna. What? I, no, dude. I wanna. I wanna actually say that he. You you guys didn't like him as an actor? No, dude. No, he's, he's amazing. amazing. Love him. What are you talking about? about? I thought he did. That's what I'm saying. He saved the whatever movie that was. He saved it for me for what he did. He was. He's amazing. He's amazing. Which, I can't by wait the for way, him. he's amazing. I, I read an article. I read an article where he actually walked out of conversations with Marvel. I did movie. read that too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he walked really? out. They, they, I, didn't, I, didn't that part. I guess it wasn't like it wasn't flowing. He wasn't picking up what they were throwing down. No, what it was, was is that what it was is that wow. he came in for an interview with Marvel like years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh he wanted to make sure he was in the right spot because when yeah. he got there, they had him waiting for a couple hours before they even saw him. And he was like, you know, fuck this. Like uh, my time yeah, is valuable. Yeah. I don't want to waste nice. their time. So yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bounce out. So he was about to leave. And uh, someone had stopped him from leaving the actual Marvel building and said, hey, like, sorry, you know, it took so long, but we want to, you know, talk to you. And so they had the interview that day uh, after he was about to walk out. Uh, I think he said he sat there for like an hour or two, I think, with like Kevin Feige and everybody. And they laid out the entire plan for uh, Jonathan Majors as far as like Kang is concerned Mm -hmm. and how he plays into everything. And he was like, I love it. I'm going to be in it. So. Uh, that's what that's why we have him in there now. So that's that's I, the reason why he almost awesome. yeah. That's awesome. I think I, I, I also. They, re- I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say real quick. They chose wisely because he did awesome. Yeah, he's he's great. But uh, I heard also that he doesn't want to watch. Like he's not gonna watch this movie to see how he does because he says that it, it it's going to it would um, probably change the way he would act in the next ones coming up. So he doesn't want to. Like look at that movie. I, I read an article. Where, but I think it was the same article. Well, that some I, actors don't yeah. see the movies when they film, and they never see the movie. They I, I thought the when movie. I read the article, it felt like he was saying that. This is me probably putting some more words in his mouth than what he was trying to say. But <laughs> awesome. I thought he was trying to say something like, "I'm not super proud of this movie, and that's why I don't want to watch it." <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I felt yeah. like. He was, but he was what they what he said was, "Hey, you know, I don't want it to to." Uh, basically uh give me some feedback and, and then change the way i act in well the no next i think what it up. is right. too is that kang is, or his character is going to be different in every Correct. version yeah, you're going to yeah, see yeah. different versions of him so yeah. he doesn't so want to base his new version on what he did before at all correct mm-hmm. yeah, he's yeah, going to go into every is. movie kind of like as a different uh, version of the of yeah. well, that's how he is and yeah. like everything you watch him in like he's always like very different like i don't know if you guys have seen that show on HBO. That's, um, that's where he's from. Yeah. Lovecraft. Yeah. Is that where he started? Because he is that's where everywhere he now. No, no yeah. From. That yeah. was like one of his first roles. And, and he did an amazing job that in that show. And like yeah. beyond that, like, I mean, everything you see him in, like, he's just a different type of actor in terms of he, how he presents himself. At every we, role he yeah. We saw him in Devotion. High role. Yeah. Me and Michael saw him in Devotion. I that was a great that film. Movie, though. Great film. Yeah, I Top Gun. Top Gun Light. That Top Gun. Yeah. His, his, <laughs> no, it's, his top it's a Diet Top, top gun. gun 50 50s. Diet Top Gun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Diet I check top it out. Gun. It's on Paramount right now, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good, man. It's yeah, good. Okay, he okay. he really pulls at your heartstrings yeah, in that one. Yeah, and the well. guy from Top Gun's there too, from America. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's all about Top Gun Light, bro. Top Gun Light. That's so funny. <laughs> like, I was. I mean, I heard it was good. I didn't hear it was. Yeah, bad. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah it was good. It was good. Check it out. All right, but, and uh, now the what I'll end this with. Uh, what no, well, you guys? What, what? Can I ask one more? Th- one more th- I can't believe none of you have talked about this. None of you. None no, of, I was none gonna none talk you, about something you, else. But go ahead. Go ahead. What? None of you have talked about freaking mode up. Oh, mode up. Yes, there. No, no, no. Mo mode up. Mode up. Mode up. Mode up. Isn't isn't that stand for like a uh, mental organism designed for only for killing? Modoc, Modoc, Modoc. This guy was dude. M-Doc. This guy was mental organism designed for playing. Dude, this guy sucked. Oh, Bro, that, oh, that was not I, I was Bro, that was not Modoc. That was freaking okay. Oh, dude, yellow, oh, yellow yeah, jacket, bro. Minute. Hold on, did you see? Bro, 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 did you bro. see Modoc the show? I'm not a dick. I am not a dick. Oh, oh did you see that Modoc the show though? Did you see the Modoc show? <laughs> that was a little weird. The cartoon one, the actual no, show. Okay, yeah, okay, with, okay, what's I, his face? Listen, I know, I know. Come on, I heard, bro. I heard he's like freaking clown. I heard of yeah, him. Yeah, he's you're a clown. He's a clown. But in the comics, you know, he could be a, a menace. He, he's yeah, a threat. Yeah, yeah. He's a threat. Yeah, that's where I know him from. I, I remember seeing him. He was the main right. villain of uh, Spider-Man uh, 2 in Miles Morales, right? No, not Miles Morales. Uh, oh, Mar- no, uh, the Avengers. Avengers. The Avengers game. Yes, yeah, he's the main right, villain. That's right, in the game. Yeah. That's right, that's right. So he is a threat. I don't I don't mind the switch with because, you know, in the comics, it's a different um, uh, character. I don't mind the switch with Yellow Jacket. I get the story where they're going. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Area. Yeah. But I don't like his switch out of nowhere. And like, whoa, you just call me a dick. You know what? I'm, I want to be a good guy. Oh, you know am what? I an Avenger, we're, we're, we're am I an Avenger now? Like, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but I'm like, her? I actually huh? like this character. I just hated the, the CGI. Like, the CGI was the, so... The, the, the CGI on his but face you, was, his face looks all the time. bro. His yeah, face it was bad. Were you laughing like, when you saw his face? I'm like... Yeah, I laughed, I was like, at the same time, I was like, I don't think I'm supposed to be laughing uh, at this, like, but... I don't know. Well, that's how I felt about Megan too, but you know, well, Alex, his little Alex, feet, they make, his little legs, Alex, they his little feet. Make his eyes white, and the butt, like, like you just like, see him yeah. coming out of the thing. And just... I like no, I the don't, look. They show that the look of it was the look of it could have been better. Like as far as a character, I honestly like walked into that movie and I wasn't excited because I had seen his face and who it was. It but was then... the actor just blown up. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It, was like it looks like out. I could. It looked It, it looks like it I could have done that. I could have done that CG. Like it was really Wide. bad. Wide. 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 He's like, <laughs> yeah, you're a dick. But again, the actor did a good I'm job a, for I'm what he dick. had. That was it. <laughs> I'm a dick. Oh my God. Question Sorry, Alex, go on. Alex, go on. Put on. We're gonna put a picture of his face like right there, literally. But. <laughs> Honestly, like I don't know. I thought yeah. I was. I thought I was gonna hate the character more until I watched the movie, and then I actually liked them. Like I thought the actor did a good job with with the material he had. I like, mean, I with was the material, laughing. he. I like the actor, but did but, you like that switch out of nowhere? Yeah, the CGI oh, I, I, I'm was, a dick, bro. This guy was a freaking killer. I mean, he's a no, bad guy. Remember I thought the first it was movie? funny. I thought it was funny. And, I mean, and, and out of nowhere, I am not a dick. I'm like, where did I come from? That was cheesy. That was cheesy. Ah, so you I mean, coming this. from okay, yeah, okay, I, I didn't okay. coming like from Thor: Love like and Thunder, that. none of this that movie reminded felt me cheesy of that. to me. So that's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Love and Thunder was freaking absolutely. All right, well, I, I will say, movie. yeah, shut up. up, shut up, Jay. shut up. Uh, what I will say <laughs> is that um, I I did go into the movie thinking about well, the one thing that I saw in the trailers that I was not gonna be a fan of is the the sci fi element of it. Like it looked like I was watching Star Wars. We're going to go watch a Star Wars movie. I will say that I was pleasantly proved wrong because a lot of the characters, I thought they were just going to meet these zany characters with like in the cantina scenes and stuff like that. Like I was like, Mm -hmm. this is going to be shitty, whatever. But a lot of the characters, the side characters that they actually met, you know, the guy with the holes, the guy who actually read minds and stuff like that. Like a lot of those scenes were actually funny to me. And there were some parts where even with them, I felt like I was almost watching like a Rick and Morty. (laughs) <laughs> type episode because, because it was like the same that. Writer. yeah so it was like the same type uh i would say like uh the humor on that yeah you know obviously yeah. like yeah. doled down because it's a, a marvel movie you know for family but um yeah. i will say i was surprised by like how much i like a <laughs> lot of these characters family. it's all about family um how much i like these guys and hold on i don't have friends <laughs> You never turn your Tickets back on, on sale bed. now. Tickets on sale now. <laughs> um, don't buy them. So, but I will say, I will say <laughs> that I was pleasantly surprised by 
the characters that they that they had in there, you know, uh, kind of like the, how they had to drink the juice and the goo to actually understand, like translate the, the language. Weird. He's like, oh, you that drank me. You drank, do you want more of me? You like, drank my goo. You drank that was my very, in your uh, home. Thor. That was very yeah. Thor, that part. No, that no, was very Rick and Morty, It was bro. like Rick was and Morty, bro. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. go that far, bro. Omar, it was like high on life, bro. Like watching, like playing. What? Well, That's I mean, what I'm saying. I, mean, like, I, I like it. For, I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm not, yeah, I'm you're not gonna. Right. You're right. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Let him do it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let him do it. Let him do it. You know what I want <laughs> you to do? I want you to watch Thor: Love and Thunder, and then watch this right after. Please, it. why you hate me that much? Yeah. Bro? Then, I watch that movie again. Yeah. And then you tell no. me which Four? one you think comedy. We'll watch the Eternal at the same time. Yeah. Dude, uh, exactly. Ooh, there you go. My heart can stand that, bro. Eternals two is in pre-production, by the way. Picture in picture. picture. <laughs> Dude, that Eternals. movie's gonna bomb. Watch. All right. So speaking about bombs, let's drop the bomb here on this uh, movie here. So we're gonna go through the ratings. What did you guys rate it? And we'll give it uh, one out of ten holes. Uh, oh. Harold, we'll start with you. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a seven. Boom. Done. Over with. Seven holes. Seven holes. That's pretty good. Yeah. That is pretty good actually. Yeah. yeah. Jay. <laughs> That's the ball, Jake. 6.14159. The hell's... I was... <laughs> he's, he's running with a joke that we did uh, months ago. Yeah. He, yeah. he needs new material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. New Jesus. Material. Uh, Jesus crackers. Alex, what would you give this uh, this movie here? So I was going to give it an 8 based on the writing and the actual movie. I enjoyed it. But after hearing about the cor- the shortcuts with the... CGI and the special effects, I had to drop it a point. So I'm going to give it a seven. Seven holes. Like Harold. There was one that had seven holes. Seven holes. All right. I'm sure they said that. Omar, how many <laughs> holes do you give uh, well, Quantum Mania? Yeah, I was actually about to give it five holes. Plot holes? Uh, yeah, five holes. But mm. I went up to six because of Basket Robin's uh, sketch in the, <laughs> in the court. <laughs> <laughs> that that part just destroyed me. You know what I'm talking about, right? That yeah. the basket robin just destroyed. I'm like, I need that Funko Pop like right now. That's just, that destroyed me. Why are you dressed like that? What do you mean? Like, I work at Basket Robin. It, it made no like, sense at all. It made no sense at all. But it, I, I thought it was funny. That so I'm like, all right, it's six, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Six, all right. Six holes. Uh, six yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one. Oh man, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm kind of right in the middle, about six and a half. Uh, six and a half holes. Six point two. There's no such thing as a half five, hole. It's eight. It's there is a half hole. hole it's, or a half it's a doofus. It's a half hole. It's half a hole. It's like a half a moon. A half moon. No. Half hole. Uh, I mean, if I had to go one way or the other, I would give it. Oh man, probably a six. If I had to pick a whole number, I would say six. <laughs> Pick a hole. Pick a hole. Yeah. A whole whole number. Whole number. Whole number. Whole number. Did you get Not it? You got go. that? You got that one? Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> a little bit math humor for you. What about math humor? Um, so yeah, we I think across the board we gave it a six, six point whatever Jay said, seven, seven, six, six and six. So we're, six, we're six, like six, really, seven, we're seven. Really close if you think about it. That's yeah, not bad. And just to give you guys uh, what the Rotten Tomatoes is, in case your listeners and were confused about the numbers that were given, um, right now currently, uh, critic score is actually forty eight percent. Stay the same. Yeah. And uh, audience score is actually 84%. Wow. So, it's backwards. Wow. It's the same, but yeah. just backwards, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's, so, that's ridiculous, so, criti- so critics did not obviously like this movie as much as the audience did. But if you go into it thinking, hey, it's going to be a serious uh, romp into the Marvel universe, you're dead wrong. Uh, go into it with sort of low expectations. I would say don't go into it with high expectations like Jay did for some reason. They, they, and, they uh, never... They never make the Ant, no, but, uh, the Ant Man movies like they don't stand no, they, out. That no, way. they didn't. No, they didn't, Harold. But the director he made a mistake. He hyped this movie as an end game movie. Like he mm. said, this was a huge they, movie. They've never Remember, been this is the at least five opening. Yeah, and, at least in my we eyes, and, we were waiting. Well, no, you're right, and you're right to believe that. But the yeah. director he said otherwise, and I was like, man, this movie's gonna be huge. I really thought. Oh wow! I thought as well. As, I yeah, think this movie had the potential, bro. It had the potential to be massive, to be bigger, a bigger impact. I know, think there was a lot the, of factors. The one of the main factors was, uh, I think, one what, um, what Alex was talking about. Man, they just cut corners too. 
I think with that, and then also what Omar said, I think you needed to have uh, something of a loss in this movie. You know, whether right. it was Hope or was it Janet, yeah. whoever, yeah. if someone died, like that would have been cool. I mean, not cool, but just <laughs> it would have it would have helped the the story for sure. It would have elevated helped. the, yeah. the it seriousness elevated of it. the threat. What's what's gonna come Correct. next? Correct. Like, this guy got rid of one person. Like we almost we barely, we're barely alive. What are we gonna do next? That's the kind of thing you want to. And yeah, exactly. Not a basket of Robin's eating some cake. No, exactly. Yeah. That's, I mean, I agree. Yeah. I'm interested and, and to and revisit goes, goes, this goes, movie goes, like yeah. as phase five continues. Yeah. And we get more context into other things like what that would do to affect everybody's score. Yeah, I feel like I would I would have probably appreciated it more if I had Oh of course you'd the, appreciate uh, it. Appreciated it more. Yes, yeah, 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 I <laughs> if, if if I had uh, watched that, if you stayed away, this yeah. is, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate. Don't appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciated the no, haters, man. You guys adopt the appreciation factor too. Okay, so appreciation appreciate feels it. good in a place like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new shirt. <laughs> it's gonna be Jay all alone in a movie theater. Like, appreciation. Feels good. Watching a movie we can't name. <laughs> Watching a movie we can't name. <laughs> Uh, I almost said the movie and I and I would have gotten muted, so I didn't say it. Oh yeah, he's all alone watching a movie by himself. Oh, oh, God. Boo. <laughs> I stopped myself. Get out of here.